And there she is, my good friend, Jocelyn Navarro, on the air right now. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for being on the show again. Truly appreciate you as always. Absolutely. No problem. Thanks for having me. I know you uh, had a nice rest there. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you made the most of it and everything. And with this show coming to an end, I had to get you on. Um, I've been very, very fortunate of interviewing so many talented wrestlers throughout the years. And um, for you and I, it goes beyond wrestling. We've seen each other once at Louisville, the girl fight wrestling for the first time. And I did walk the book guys had that very night, so at least you recognize me. You know, all that to do with the Ohio State hat? Yeah. So, um, so, oh, before I forget, I appreciate that, uh, the new t shirt. Um, is very comfy in my closet. And the next time we see each other, I will make sure to wear that shirt. I'm I'm getting some Megan the Stallion vibes with that shirt. <laughs> I'm getting some Megan the Stallion vibes with that. So you have been busy since things have reopening. Um so with that being said, you know, as a performer, how does it feel just Getting back to doing shows again and on the regular. How's everything been for you? Oh man, it's been fun. I'm so excited to, you know, be in front of crowds and stuff again. Um, wrestling, like obviously the landscape has changed because of COVID, but um, I'm trying to get back into full swing at a thing. So um, I'm excited, especially going into the summer to see how everything plays out and how everything goes. I'm just excited to be in new places and wrestle new faces and entertain new crowds and stuff. So one thing I've noticed um, is that you, you've you been in Kentucky a couple of times this year already. Um, you was at Ohio Valley Wrestling. You've been in the hunt for the Ohio Valley Wrestling's Women's Championship like you, Maserati, Hollywood, Haley J. Um, from my understanding, Haley is the current champion right now. Um, how's that been, you know, I mean, with Ohio Valley Wrestling? You got to get somebody from Ohio <laughs> to to be on that show. And you are literally from Ohio. And I know this doing shows in Kentucky, they do shows in a tri-state area, but what was it like being um, in OVW, being in the hunt for the women's championship? Um, it was it was pretty cool. Um, I went right in and um, blew management out the water. Well, you know how I wrestle and how I guess how I wrestle. Um, they loved having me around. They wanted me down there every week. Well, obviously, I couldn't be down there every week, but. <laughs> <laughs> but it was super dope. Um, I got I got to meet um, Maserati, who is you know very talented. She's based out of Vegas. Um, wonderful. She's she's a wonderful talent. She's very talented, very friendly. Um, I love working with her. Uh, I can't wait to wrestle her again. She's really great. Uh, I've I've met a lot of people in general down there. And it was it was great to uh, wrestle for OVW, especially because it's like one of those things where you were growing up and you was like, wow, you know, one day I would like to wrestle there, and then you know, actually being able to wrestle there, you know, it's pretty dope. That yeah, it's definitely dope. Given the history they have um, with their developmental territory for WWE a long time ago, and some of the wrestlers that. Were household names there before making it to the main roster, and of course they were also developmental with Impact as well. So their 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 body of work speaks for itself. So 
Um, that's pretty dope that you got to be a part of OVW um, and being the hunt for the women's championship and everything. So a lot has happened, you know, WrestleMania took place. And I want to talk about two things in particular. Um, obviously, a well-respected wrestler um, that you've been cool with, Faye Jackson. I love me some Faye Jackson. Um, she did announce that she is uh, hanging up the boots. Um, and I've heard so many good stories about her for what she's meant to um, the indie wrestling scene and to black woman wrestlers like yourself. Um, what's your thoughts on, on Faye's um, retirement and what she meant to you um, as a performer? And um, and a colleague. Um, uh, it's it's unfortunate that she has to retire. Um, she hasn't been wrestling that long. I want to say about five or six years she's been in. Um, but you know, she, she knows she knows when it's her time. Um, and you know, uh, she she was very friendly. Uh, every time I was able to been the same show as, as her. Um, we always had great interactions with with each other. Uh, we never got a one on one together, but we did have a we did wrestle a tag match against each other and it was, you know, it was fun. Um I wish her well and whatever she does in the future, I know she'll have fun and make an impact in whatever she does in the future. And uh hopefully, you know, I'm pretty sure we're gonna cross paths again. Well, hopefully we do, but um, yeah, and I hope she enjoys retirement and and stuff like that. And uh, it's sad to see her go, but you know, everybody knows when their time is. Everybody knows when um, they're done with wrestling, and that's with everything in life. You know, when you're done with whatever you're doing. So she feels like she's done with wrestling, and you know, we got to respect that. Understandable. Um, I wish. I had a chance to see her wrestle in person. But stubborn me don't like the travel, long travel stuff. So it's uh it's very sad. Um that uh but you know, we look back at her career. She was with Ring of Honor Dojo, uh and she made it that's what I first heard of her. I've never seen a sister of Ring of Honor until I saw Faye. And I'm like, who is this girl? And she from Ohio too. Like she won me over. Um, and she she knows how to put a smile on people's faces. And her social media activity, man, you think she's a comedian? She, I think she could be. Whatever she does, I hope is a comedian. Well, cause she got jokes too. She is comedy uh, on social media. Um, so we're spent. To Faye, and she did the the great pan the great pants battle royal. Now, if anyone try to copy that, we know where you got that from. That's Faye Jackson's idea. Don't try that, you know. Especially with a black woman, they come for your behind. I'm just saying. Um. So also, what happened was a historic night. It was on Saturday, I believe. Two black women on the main event of WrestleMania. Um, Sasha Banks, Bianca Belair, they killed it. It was worth the anticipation. It was worth the hype, the expectations. They killed it. It was a uh, first show in front of a crowd for WWE. Like when, when that bell rang, to start the match, and they looked at each other, they looked at the crowd, like, man, we really about to make history right here. So it was just, it was it was a big night for black women, you know, and just, you know, my sisters, like, I told them about this match, like, they got black women in the main event of WrestleMania? I'm like, yes. These, these, women, are, these women are incredible. They are talented at what they do and for them to have 
that moment on the first show for this organization in front of a crowd uh, with this pandemic, it's, it's, it was just, man, just fun. You know, for you, Jocelyn, what's that? What's that feeling? Just seeing those two women main event WrestleMania and with everything that's happened. Um, you know, honestly, I thought that that would never, like, ever happen. Like, we'd never see that happen. So, for it to actually happen, um. You know, I was really excited when they announced it. I was like, wow, like, this is, this is really happening. Um, like, this, this is not fake. Like, this is real. Um, so, you know, it it, didn't, it actually didn't, like, feel real until, like, they both actually got in the ring. And I was actually at a show um, while the first night of WrestleMania was going on. So, um you know, I was just like, you know, let let me know, uh, let me know when the match come on, let me know when the match come on. So I had wrestled already, thank God. Um, when their match came up, so I was like, you know, oh shit, let me sit down and watch it. So, you know, I sat down and watched. It. I like, I had to watch it. Like, I I couldn't miss it. Like, I just had to watch it because of, you know, how important this is yeah. to, to, you know, women of color, especially black women, because we definitely have the hardest. We we definitely have it the hardest at wrestling. Um, so for those two, the main event, you know, it's amazing. The match was like amazing. It, it was great. Um, had all the feels, <laughs> like all the feels for it because it was like, wow, like growing up, you know, I never ever thought that I would see um, two black women like actually main event. And then like for the women's title at that, you know, so um, being able to see the representation of us, you know, um, main event WrestleMania, like, that's, that's something that, like, I will definitely remember forever, and hopefully, you know, I'll be able to do that one day as well. Like, I've main event in shows before, and, you know, it's it's always a huge thing. I mean, oh, excuse me. <sighs> that was a huge thing when, um, you know, you can get women, and especially, you know, a black woman, so it may have been a show, but to may have been WrestleMania, like, that's a whole different aspect of a whole different section on, on, on the um, timeline. And it was great to watch, and, and they showed out, and I hope it becomes more of a normal thing, like, not even just for WrestleMania, but, like, generally. Yeah. That definitely has to make it to be a really good rivalry. Sasha Banks has had great rivalries throughout her career, um, from Bailey at NXT to Charlotte in the main roster, being in these first-time matches. This rivalry with Bianca has a chance to be right up there. And with Bianca being the champion right now, it's going to motivate Sasha wanting to win that back. So um, I'm definitely look forward to see where they take this rivalry in the coming weeks leading up to WrestleMania Backlash, which is the next pay-per-view. So we'll see how that goes. But just for those women to have that moment, this, this is special. Very, very special. And uh, they're going to cherish this for the rest of their lives. And 10, 15, 20 years from now, they can tear their future children or grandparents, uh, grandchildren, like, we really may have any WrestleMania. And uh, so that's that's a monumental moment. So so props to them, props to the organization for giving the woman that platform. And hopefully they can uh, keep that going and more women of color will get opportunities like that down the road. Um, but I like what I saw uh, night one. Um, so it, it was fun. So I see, uh, Jocelyn, you have some, some shows coming up. I know, um, there's a Black Wrestlers Matter show that's coming up on June 10th. Um, that's in a couple months from now. Um, but what are some shows you have coming up in the coming weeks that you want to promote that your fans need to keep an eye on? 
Um, next week, um, AIW is going back to, you know, live shows, you know, live shows with fans and stuff. Um, Thursday, April 29th, um, it's uh, Hello Cleveland, and then Friday, April 30th, and I'm on the flyer for this one. Um, the show is a cause. Is this something you might be interested in? So definitely try to check those two out. Um, then May 7th, I'm in Texas. Um, this is supposed to be a surprise, though, so I can't really say where I'm going to be at. Um, then um, May 8th, I'm in Denver for Rocky Mountain Pro. Uh, Jesus. Uh, hold on. Let me actually look. Okay. Uh, May 14th, I'm at FSW in Las Vegas. May 15th, um, I'm wrestling for Belladonna down in um, Gasden, Alabama. And then May 30th, um, I'm going to wrestle Max in St. Louis. So, like, that's that's my May, really. So, definitely, oh, it's my end of April and May. So, definitely, you know, if y'all got in the area or, you know, kind of close by, definitely come check me out. I'm pretty fun. I'm pretty good also. <laughs> So yeah, I I can I can co-sign that. I seen Jocelyn, she she's fun, she's cool, she's chill, you know, and uh, she, you know, she ain't gonna bite you, you know, <laughs> you know. So go go <laughs> check her out. You are a traveling woman, traveling Texas, Alabama, Colorado, and Nevada. I'm gonna stop. You know, you, I, you got this. This Ohio girl is traveling. I like that. I like that for real. Uh, so go check out those shows. Uh, support your indie wrestling promotions. Um, and just two more things before I conclude this interview. Um, you know, every time I have you on this show, we talk wrestling. We talk all types of stuff. But there's no way I'm going through this last interview with you without talking the obvious, okay? You're a sports fan like me, and Ohio State football is something that you love as well as myself. And uh, given what happened to us Buckeyes, you know, we did beat Clemson. Uh, Justin Fields showed out against Clemson. You know, and Dabo had to, he had to backpedal those words he said about us. Uh, the Alabama game, I don't want to talk too much about it. Like, we know that team just, you know, it, so much energy left out. And just, we just had bad luck that night. But, um, but Justin Fields, he put on a show. Um, and look, we... We went farther than Michigan again, so that's good. Mm -hmm. so, so as we approach this coming season, so Ryan Day has a decision to make as far as who's going to replace Justin Fields. How do you feel about the Buckeyes entering this coming season with the talent they have right now? Um, the one thing about Ohio State is like they're really, really good at reloading. So, uh, like, <laughs> and they you never know who they have sitting on the bench. Like they used to have Joe Burrow sitting on the bench. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, like you never know like who they have like that was second string last year, or you never know who they have coming in or transferring in, or like you know. So I'm I'm always gonna be like very confident in like Ohio State like incoming into the new season. You know, like you said, obviously uh, last year did not end the way we needed it to. But I was very happy that we beat Clemson, especially because like during that game, I was in South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was I was literally in, in Myrtle Beach like during that game, and uh, me and my me and my boyfriend went to a bar. So we were, it was full of Clemson fans and um, mm. he's actually a Michigan fan. So mm. I'm the only person there rooting for Ohio State. 
<laughs> and so for us to, you know, like beat them while I was down there, it, it felt so great, especially because, you know, I've, I've been dying for us to finally get that, to get that win against Clemson, and we did in, like, the most wonderful fashion. So, um, but yeah, like, the, the outcome of the season all the way did not go, you know, how we wanted, wanted it to, but, I mean, you know, it's all right. We're going to be back. So, um, I'm really excited about this season. Um, hopefully, they can have fans um, in the stands because, obviously, I wanted to go to some games. Um, I was sad that I couldn't go to Ohio State, Michigan. It was at the Horseshoe. It was supposed to be at the Horseshoe this year. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I was sad about that. So, just hopefully, you know, um, things in general go goes better. And you know we have a great season. I'm really, I'm really excited about football in general, both Ohio State and the Browns. Like, really excited about you know football for for my team. So, I did check out an NFL draft commercial on ESPN, and I could have sworn I heard the voiceover person say, "Cleveland, the greatest city in the world." Um. Mm-hmm. So, I I have not been to Cleveland before, but you know I've heard some good things. They're very, very passionate sports fans in that city, you know. So, uh, and mm-hmm. you know, I lived in Cincinnati and Columbus. I've never been to Cleveland. Um, so, and I'm a Reds fan. So that's only you know other. Other than Ohio State, as far as Ohio teams that I cheer for, you know, my, my Reds got a lot of swagger right now. But uh, we did lose to those Indians. I don't want to talk about that. But <laughs> uh, so you probably gave me the Trey the Sermon meme face. You probably gave the Trey Sermon meme to those fans in South Carolina. Um, <laughs> that That is a legendary meme. Uh, Trey Sherman, thank you for for leaving Oklahoma and pulling on a, some stellar games that you did. I feel like if you didn't get hurt that against Alabama, I really think we could have pulled off, you know. But then again, we we couldn't stop Devonte Smith, you know, and he's not necessarily the biggest guy, uh, but he 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 had a career day, so. You know, but Ryan Day, you know, you're making progress. You you was in the playoffs two years in a row, into the championship game. Now we need you to 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 take that next step, the championship. You know, we need you to, to pull through this time. That that wide receiving core, Wilson, Alave, man, that wide receiver core gonna be a nightmare for defenses. So um, I, I'm I'm hyped for Buckeyes football. Um, so everybody, man, get vaccinated, please, man. I need to see that horse. I need to see that shoe packed up again. You know, you know. So yeah, that please, we, we got to. I got my first dose already. I'll get my second next uh next Friday. So uh, I'll be fully vaccinated by the end of this month. Uh, so, um, Jocelyn, it was great having you on. Thank you so much as always. So, um, I know my show is coming to an end. Um, I feel like I've done this for 10 years. I gave it all I had and kind of like with Faye, I feel like it was time for me to move on and just move on to other things. Um, so while... My wrestling radio tenure coming to an end. I'm still a wrestling fan. I'm still on Twitter and, and stuff. I'll keep in touch with my wrestling friends like yourself. So, um, I'll, and we'll see each other again. We'll see each other again. Um, but nonetheless, thank you, Jocelyn, for your unconditional support um, and just being you. Um, and repping for for the for the woman, for women of color, and just being a good person, and uh, just thank you, 
and to everyone that has supported this show. And um, I will always be in your corner, cheering you on. And uh, I look forward to seeing more great things for you um, in the future. So, Jocelyn, I want to say this to you. Thank you um, for your support. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for supporting me. And, of course, you know, we're going to cross paths again. And, you know, you, you can always talk to me on, on Twitter or, you know, whatever else we, we uh, have each other on social media. You know, you've, you've been a great person to always talk to, interact with. So I, I definitely know that we'll see each other down the road. Absolutely. So, um... You take care of yourself, be safe out there, and uh, we'll see each other again down the road. Absolutely. Thank you. You too.